the PodCraft Beer Show, episode 28 for Monday, January 25th, 2021. Today we examine an IPA from Aslan and an IPA from McKellar, San Diego. Welcome to the 28th The Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, January 25th, 2021. The goal of this show is to examine the best craft beer from Southern California and beyond. This is Tech Guy Steve with today's introduction for host Chris and Charlie. Today's show was, like last week, a 100% maximum socially distanced remote recording. The first beer we sample is an Indian Pale Ale from Aslan, and the second beer is also an IPA, but this time from McKellar in San Diego. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Your other host, Charlie. Your other host, Charlie. Hey, what's going on? I was sleeping on you. <laughs> we got tech guys. Steve. Yep. Steve's wide awake. And, uh, He's had coffee. He is. I actually, uh, I just brewed some coffee uh, a few minutes ago myself. Oh, long, long, long day of work. But uh, today we're gonna uh, we're gonna take a peek at a couple of different IPAs, and uh, and finish off with a stout. The uh, the first beer, Charlie. Uh, it's a uh, um, trite IPA. Looks like uh, yes, this, is, uh, this is this is a. Aslan beer that you brought back from uh, from Virginia. Yep. Very well. So the um, let's uh, let's go ahead and pop those. Uh, tell me what you guys think there. Smells pretty good. So this um, this trite IPA comes in at about five and a half percent. It's an IPA with uh, Citra and Simcoe uh, Citra and Simcoe hops. So the um, let's see what great got. great head on it there. Ooh, it's pretty mild on the nose. Yeah, it smells great. Swig. It does have a nice head. So once again, we're uh, recording socially distancing. We uh, so we uh, we all three have the same beers, and we'll uh, review these from our own homes. <clears throat> Mine's um, dog on this is a good beer. <laughs> I mean, for a straight up IPA, oh, doesn't say yeah, New England really, style uh, or hazy, does it? It is a no, slight it's regular haze, IPA. But it is slightly That's hazy though. The um. Yeah, it says drinkable on the on the can, and I would agree. Certainly is drinkable. The um, they say that on there. Yeah, what no, they say that on the back. It says drinkable ale loaded with hops. Ah, there you go. A true oh, got it. It's true again. Oh my. Yeah. So no, that's uh, that's really tasty. You know, it's not um, it's five and a half percent. You know, there's like no alcohol taste in there. You certainly taste. I think the citra taste some citra hops in there. Well, these uh, guys pours make like a, pours like a what? I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, like it's like an amber. I mean, it is kind of hazy a little bit, you know, like. Um, it's, is yours uh, ambery? Mine's yellow as yellow could be. Is it? Could just yeah. be this light I'm looking under. Yeah, turn the light on there, yeah. Chris. Hold it up yeah, to your yeah, screen. Yes. <laughs> this is a little more a little more yellow. I'm looking at it underneath this fluorescent light. Mine's it's yellow. Light. And it tastes fantastic. I'm, I'm never shocked at uh, good beers from Aslan, that's for sure. I mean, I expect everything out of their brewery to be top-notch, 100%. I haven't tasted a bad beer from them yet. Now, I tasted a beer that I didn't enjoy as much. It was still good, Mm -hmm. but uh, it was a stout. Remember that uh, Juan? uh, I have a couple. I I, I was going to pull that out today. Juan de Bolo or... Yeah. I mean, I'm just not a cinnamon guy, so that was probably why, but... uh, it had cinnamon in it, and it just didn't just didn't hit me different enough. Yeah. So, but uh, love this beer. I'm a big fan of this beer. Better start drinking. No, that's really good. Yeah, that's really I, tasty. I, I really like it. And this is something they Certainly serve all the time. What's that? Do they have this one a lot? Like it's a standard. Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. This is a. Um, they go through a lot of beers. I mean, I don't know how many they can keep on tap that are regulars. But I mean, this would be uh, just a simple IPA that they make, so it's it's probably it could be on tap there. I don't know. They're I mean, they're still you know uh, they're not open inside, so 
I would be shocked if this is on tab. You know, there. Right I think now. it is. Who knows? Yeah, the that would um, be great. Um, there's a, there's a lot of reviews on it, like eleven thousand uh, reviews on Untapped. Wow. So that um, maybe it is Untapped. Usually, like if I go to um to Aslan Beer and and go to attempt to uh um let's go like next day delivery, see if it's on there. It might not be. It might be like a rotating. Um, yeah, like it's currently not available. Um, but but it certainly is something they they probably uh bring back quite often. Well, that's good. They, you know, this is sort of like a, uh, you know, it, it's an IPA, but I mean, as it's refreshing, like a lager is refreshing or a Pilsner is refreshing and crisp. I mean, it's not heavy on the alcohol. It's not, you know, too hoppy. Uh, you know, they don't put, nobody puts their ingredients on here anymore. Like how many AB, uh, IBUs or, you know, anything like that. They don't put it on their cans. I guess it's an expense, but, uh, you know, tastes great. Very, 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 very little bitterness at all. So, yeah, no, it has a really, really good mouth, mouth feel, you know, I mean, I think really what I've, I've been drinking as far as IPAs are, are a lot more like, um, like hazy or foggy IPAs or murky, depending on, you know, who you're getting them from. And then, um, you know, I really like West coast IPAs, right. Which are going to be a little clearer and, and hoppier, um, more bitter, but the uh, but this is this is a uh, a nice little change there. I uh, I'm a fan of that beer. I thank you for that, Charlie. It's a good one. I'm, yeah, I'm look, liking it a lot. Looking at their website, man, it, it would be hard pressed to not find a good beer there. They have so many. Yeah. Ideas and well, like I said, they 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 are great hazy makers. They're great IPA makers. They're great stout makers. I mean, and they've had a couple of you know surprisingly. Uh, wonderful like the el frutero remember that chris mm -hmm. yeah that was really that good was, yeah that was lights out and you know unfortunately i only got a four pack of that and it was um uh my buddy steve i think i said this last time my buddy steve uh ha hung on to that thing he actually wrote on the can i brought it home with me save for charlie because he heard us talking about it and so he saved it till i went over there and we we drank it up it was delicious again you know, it's just got that little cayenne bite to it, but it's nothing, Yeah. you know, oh, I can't drink it. It's too hot, you know. Right. But uh, don't let your kids drink it, you know. <laughs> but, well, that's, but that's um, who alerted me about that beer was uh, Brianna. She, my daughter, she said, uh, she goes, have you tried this yet? She sent me a picture of the can. I'm like, no, I, I just thought it would be interesting. She goes, it is amazing. So I jumped all over it and. That's when we put it on the show and away we go. So, yeah. So it's the website says they're shipping to Virginia, Vermont, New Hampshire, and um, Pennsylvania. Didn't they say Nevada too now? Are they? Um, I'm not Pretty sure. Certain. I don't, I don't think they are. Um, you know, who did just start shipping to Nevada is a uh, great notion. They just announced okay, they're that, shipping man. to, uh, to Nevada as well as um, I think it's $25 a case to ship to Nevada. Something. And it's, um, they also ship to Alaska. What do you think it costs to ship a case of beer to Alaska? Should you want well, some great up there? Is it one of those drops, you know, where they just let the parachute <laughs> out of the <laughs> yeah. back of the thing? Or is it an I actual think, landing and delivering? <laughs> I, I think it probably, uh, I mean, a hundred bucks a case is what it, uh, um what it gets shipped up there for so if you're buying a case of beer you know the year um i mean you're you're looking at four dollars a can in a shipping cost no um, pre-taste either i mean if what if you get it and you're like this right. this isn't what i thought it right. was you know <laughs> right yeah that's a that's a spendy beer but i guess you know it's probably cheaper than a round trip ticket from anchorage to uh yeah um, to portland not as much fun but i was yeah, no, I thought that was, uh, you know, I'm like, hey, at least those guys, those guys can get good beer. But the uh, that's that's a spendy trip. So that um, I checked Alaska off of the places that I'll be moving. Access to yeah. good beer seems rather expensive. Well, I would imagine that uh, I'm going to have my uh, daughter and son-in-law be grabbing me some beer from Great Notion. then, if that's the case, somebody else was delivering to Vegas. I think it was either the other half or Aslan. Equilibrium. Yeah, People but I, I knew they were well. already. Okay. I'm not as into their beers because I haven't had enough of them. Yeah, so, they're good. I mean, I know they're good, but I'm. It's hard to go without tasting and knowing. 
And Agreed. I'm just sort of those, uh, one of those people that like to know what I'm getting into. And whereas Aslan or, you know, uh, even that triple crossing, if they were shipping out to Vegas, I'd be loading up on that, um, Falcon smash and Valhalla that they have there. Uh, yeah. so it's just got some great beers that are just, I mean, I, I just don't understand the whole shipping thing, why they couldn't ship it anywhere they want to, or anywhere just, where someone is willing to pay them to ship it to. You live in the state of California and you're questioning government regulation. Uh, I, I, I'm not questioning it. I just don't understand how it's, how the thought process goes. Um, because, you know, if we want to keep people in business and if that's what, you know, these government officials are saying, we've got to get back to work. Well, let these people ship to wherever they want. And I know it's a concern where they say, oh, well, what if miners get a hold of it? Well, miners are not going to be ordering a uh, beer that costs, you know, triple what it would to go down to the liquor store and fish for a uh, six pack of Coors, you know, that sort know. of thing. So there you go. There's my statement. And there you go. Um, so, you know who else ships as, to uh, um, Nevada is Humble Steep as well. They uh, they ship there, which um, cool man. I'm I, I I've been uh, I've been ordering some of their um, some of their beers. It's amazing how quick they get here. Like yesterday, they released um, they released Humble or their uh, um, a couple of different beers. One of them being Sweet Pop uh, or the, excuse me Super Pop. Uh, two different two different styles of super pop. Um, I ordered them yesterday, and they showed up today. Nice, amazing! Like twenty four hours later. <laughs> right, right. And, so and you had that happen. You had that happen in San Diego, which we thought was amazing. But like, it, right, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so like, I got a beer. So last week, I actually received the beers. Um, I ordered on. So they open up ordering on on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Or Tuesday through Thursday, and then their first release is Thursday, uh, and then they do another release on Sunday. So I ordered mm. um, beers from both of the um, both of the releases, and they showed up on Friday. So I had the beers wow. two days before they uh, they went on public sale. What uh, save those boxes, by the way? I just threw them out, but I have the uh, I have all the can containers. They're not. Oh, you got the, the best, boxes. But- now they uh, they fit really well into it. I have another box that fits better, a Home Depot box. Okay, all right. If you need to well, send, I like that. those. And yeah, that's a that that sending a case is super expensive to send that across. I I just sent Nick some beer yesterday. Um, yeah. The, and it was unbelievably expensive to uh, four fifty. It was like Nick? I was sent at four fifty. Nick, it was like I was sending a <laughs> sending. I think he moved to Alaska based on the pricing. <laughs> uh, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, you know, and, the, and the, the bummer there was like he, you know, I, um, we split that, that Mason Ale Works membership so he can gain access to the uh, Ferris Falcon releases. So um, good for him for, for me to ship four four packs from uh, from them to him was like twenty seven dollars. And I was like, I'll just throw a few other beers in the box. That was that was really uh, that was poorly, um, poorly, uh, poorly played thought out. Part. Yeah, you hit, you hit a new tier. Yeah, because it, it like it, we went from like twenty seven dollars and then probably another thirty or forty dollars to send the beer that I mm-hmm. sent him like to ninety seven dollars wow. because your box gets so big. Mm-hmm. And then now I'm on the hook for the beers until they get there, you know, vice mm-hmm. yeah. Arabian on the hook. So I don't think we'll be doing that one again. Mm, but ship direct. That's how what I say. Yeah, exactly. So what's uh, what's our next beer, Charlie? We're going with uh, Do Things Together. It's the New England uh, style Indian Pale Ale from McKellar, San Diego. Should be a good one. And I visited oh, I love that the, sound. I visited you him did? the first time on Saturday. McKellar, wow, you did? What'd you think? Yeah, it was nice. Seems like That's a great the place original, to be with. For sure. It's a super cool brewery. That's the original Alesmith Brewery. Oh wow! Yeah, little little tiny place compared to what Alesmith is now. The color, yeah, exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's does, very similar. It? Got a little more hazy smell than the last one does. That's for sure. Oh yeah, you can tell the smells. So this beer mm. is a. Uh, we have. Give me a second. That's got some bitterness in it. There, some IBUs, I think. 
Yeah, so we have a, a New England style uh, India Pale Ale brewed with Amarillo, uh, Hallertau Blanc, and, and Nelson hops. So the uh, let's see what we. Oh, they also a, have. Uh, it's got uh, barley malt and wheat malt and oats in it. Barley malt and wheat malt. That's where you're getting. You're probably getting that. I don't know. Maybe not from the taste of that. Maybe that's the uh, smells barley malty. It's definitely a little maltier like that. You know, that IPA mm-hmm. earlier was, it was super soft, but you had, uh, you know, like a more of a, definitely tasted the hops. I think a little bit more. This is, uh, it's got kind of a, kind of a weird, um, I mean, it's solid. Um, I mean, it's definitely malty. You know, you get, um, I think it's a, I don't know, I'd say kind of a medium body, but it's got like a, it has a really malty, I think, aftertaste. What do you think, Steve? It's really mild. And I, I, I guess I'm just having a hard time. It just wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a little bit more hop in yeah. the flavor, maybe? It's a hazy. Yeah, there's it's supposed to be hoppy. A, I mean, there's certainly more malty, I think. Uh, yeah, well, they got two different types of malt in there, it says, plus oats. So they have barley malt and they have wheat malt yeah. and uh, yeast. I mean, this got, this got different language on here, too, so it's not uh, – <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's got a little trick me where you're reading it says best before li- uh, date on the bottom and i almost turned the dang thing upside down to look at it <laughs> I, so. I i i did lift it up and uh so i know it, it a little says bit. A, a best before and then it shows a born on date on the bottom of it so the uh, yeah but it's, just it's actually- on the bottom of the can and i almost flipped it over <laughs> all right good thing i got all the napkins up here this time i like it it would be a good uh you know what it smells like? It smells like when you walk into a brewery, when you smell all that, uh, the wort and everything, that's what it smells like to me. You know, when you walk in there and they've got a big pile of wort in the back or something, and it's just like wafting through the brewery. Yeah. Mm, that's a beer's beer. Trust me. I like that. It's got a little different taste. Yeah. But uh, I could drink that all day. But uh, yeah. Who knows? No, yeah, that's um, that's uh, I I would say um, I, I think I'm a little bigger fan of I'm a big um, I think I'm a bigger fan of of the trite between the two of them. I think um, I'm just not a huge fan of uh, of the maltiness on that beer. I think I'm so I'm, sorry I, that I made something, you drink that. <laughs> <laughs> something going. Can just I come a little bit of the? Can uh, you drop those cans off? Back exactly. off and I'll I'm gonna, finish them off for you guys. Well, I'll, I'll leave a I'll leave a little bit on the bottom there. No, it's a it's a solid IPA, but I think you know a lot of times um, I think you just end up kind of spoiled, maybe. But I you think this spoiled? is. Uh, I know, yeah. The um, so the new stuff together, it's uh, you know, it shows up there that it's the limited release, so it's probably um, you know, they do um different beers that they pack uh, different parts of the year. Um, this appears to possibly be one of those. And quite a few check ins. Um. What's it get? Let's see. Uh, I mean, I think it's rated, you know, it's rated 3.92. So it's certainly a solid beer. Like a lot of people um, are, are big fans of it. Well, it's going to hit a different um, category of people with that maltiness. That's right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's great. It's a good that. beer. That's right. No, I like it. It's a good beer. I'll drink it. I got a couple more. I'll drink them. Don't worry. You guys don't have to suffer through that. <laughs> I'll take care of the rest it's, of it's my not, It's not suffering. It's just it's just different. Yeah. Just yeah, no, it's just, just uh different. it's lingering, not suffering. Yeah. So what are we drinking next, Chris? Well, the uh so so for the our final beer, we uh uh Charlie and I both have a, a bottle of uh green cheek and Horace Age Dale's uh We Like Birds, an Imperial Stout Horace. with pistachios and vanilla beans. So this is a, a collab that, that came out of a couple months ago, I think um, they just had a, another release of it this last weekend. Um, so yeah, it's a. Uh, they say that, um, and if you you look at the write up from Green Cheek, you know they uh, they talk about how Kyle likes his stouts big, chewy, and so full of flavors from the extra ingredients they added in. Um, so they 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 started this off with uh, Simpsons malt, uh, all the Simpsons malt they could uh, they could use. Um, then they conditioned it two different times on pistachios. And then added uh, vanilla beans as well. So they say that uh, that takes this completely over the top. So we'll see. Yeah, it well, looks like it. Uh, okay. Did they do two 
two uh, different uh, doses of pistachios? They did on this one. Okay. Because wow. that's yeah. what I'm hoping for. I, I'm hoping for that combination of the pistachio and vanilla just to, you know, rock it. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, this will be no, my first time man. drinking a full a full full bottle by myself too. Hey, so today so. I um I was on this Zoom call. We had this this uh it was a um it was usually we have a Saturday night dinner at this annual meeting and we uh um we have an award ceremony. You know, we you get a good dinner and then this award ceremony goes on for quite some time. Well, today they had the the field employees um uh, award ceremony. So I so I dropped in and it was uh. It was like a, it was a happy hour, you know, so, so it was a happy hour for these guys. And although I was, st- you know, I was still working, so I wasn't, uh, I wasn't having any beers or anything, but, um, you know, I, I was looking and there's like 200 people on this zoom meeting and there's a handful oh, wow. of people, you know, like that are, that are sharing their screens, like probably, I don't know, 50, I don't know, maybe a hundred people were sharing, um, or had their cameras on. And I look up and one guy was pouring a bottle of, uh, um, of Horace double dose on the uh, oh. on, on the meeting like he's just taking that one solo dome it was pretty what funny. a stud yeah no, my he's hero a, he's a unique character not, that's not gonna only be a does he make good, yeah exactly not only does he make good bread good pies good barbecue he drinks oh. uh, he solo domes it's, uh it's our it's our buddy Brian was <laughs> down in that dose. <laughs> he, he was somebody. Somebody actually, uh, you know, it, they sent me a jab, and they're like, "Hey, what's this beer?" And I got, I got a chuckle out of it. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty funny. I got a new nickname for him. I'm not going to say it on here, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll text it to you, Chris. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. It was pretty funny. It was pretty comical. But yeah, so this uh, we like birds. Um, I think you take a smell. You definitely. I think I smell pistachios. I mean, I think it's pistachios. I smell pistachios. You know what? We didn't talk wow, about what definitely. beers we drink. We didn't. That's a um, gosh. I'm such a fan of of stouts. The uh, so this you know the pistachios comes through great. You get a little bit of vanilla on the back end. Just got that that typical horrid mouthfeel. That super thick and viscous. <laughs> it's that's good beer. I just sent you what I'm gonna call yeah, from exactly. now on. <laughs> that's four d's yeah, no, though, he, if you uh, didn't recognize that <laughs> yeah he um uh, i was pretty it was pretty funny he said he was pulling the heat out so yeah let's let's loop back real quick um we'll, we'll uh hey steve what uh what beer did you have this week what was the best beer you had the best beer i had i um well it's really hard because we did that beer the the dinner the anniversary dinner from bergen uh, so oh was, yeah how was that there was virgin's Virgin, yeah, sorry. There was four excellent beers as the main, you know, main course, and then they saved. I saved the stout for us to next time we're together. I want to bring Ooh, that right on. Oh, I'm um, excited. That was the, the food, Virgin food, and Moxa. Yeah, that's okay. that one. But the the food from there was just amazing and a great pairing. And they also did a great video where um, they talked about each of the food in the pairings that they did. So it was it was it was they knocked it out of the park. It was. Much better than it was a good stone. experience. It was a bit. It was better better than the stone one that we did earlier. So, yeah. Um, Who was um, the the, um, the the food was um, good was seed or good oh seed. good seed okay. yeah yeah and they're they're the folks who are going to be doing the food at their place down on the harbor in the harbor island or not down by the bay. Um, oh right on of, yeah so yeah definitely recommend if when the, when we get back to eating you know, out there, their food down there is going to be amazing, I would think. But um, when I, so I swung by McKellar, but I also swung by, because they're all like within like spitting distance of each other. Um, the Protector Brewery, I, I don't know, we've talked about them, but I had their I haven't been there. Yeah, it's really, really good. Juicy IPA. So. I'm a big fan of And juicy they're right IPA. up in. Um, yeah, they're right across the street from where um, the Good Seeds old, because the Good Seeds moving I guess they're basically their lease is up. So they're trying to figure out where they're going to cook food until the, the new location is down, down by the ocean. So, um, yeah. So, um, so that protector, yeah. um, they, they're, right, they're, they they're said, really close to the McKellar just right down the street and around the corner. So oh, I just check it out. both of those on the way home. Yeah. So 
So they say Pure Organic Vegan, uh, San Diego's first uh, organic brewing company. Sustainably wow. craft. We only use pure organic ingredients in every batch. Yeah. What's but, the name uh, of it? Be, Protector. Protector. Yeah. Protector. You know what? I'm going to have to go try it because um, with organic breweries, here's I've tasted a lot of organic beers. And um, you know what? For some weird reason, they taste like um, soapy dishwater to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping if these guys have found a key, they're going to get a lot of support, you know, because, you know, I love organic better than anybody does. So, <laughs> and so, so I'm, and no, I said well, organic, not orgasmic. <laughs> we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to give that a try. Looks like they're in a quite a few places. You know, I'm looking at their yeah. website, you know, they're available like uh, Sprouts, Whole they got Foods, cans? you know, Beth yep, cans. yeah, they got cans. Looks like they got, cool. um, you know, five or six different, uh, different cans. So yeah, I definitely want to check those guys out. Picked up their West Coast IPA too. It was good. I mean, I, I was, you know, I just did it because they were right next door. So sure. Um, that Veteranone, uh, you know. Ah, we love that. Good story too. If you read the how they got started and all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, we will huh. seek them out. To, uh, for sure, we'll have the uh, the link to that in the show notes. Um, yeah, no, I uh, I'm excited to look at that. Charlie, yeah, how about you? It, and the beers I had, oh, yeah. they you know, they had a whole can, you know, the cans all ready, and then you can get crowlers there. So, crowlers. Did they crowlers, did they have mixed four packs or just uh, it was just looks like just four packs of each beer. Four packs of each beer, yeah. So you did the the yeah. organic West Coast, and what was the other one? Uh, let's see here. I'm just trying to bring up my. So I did the juicy IPA, which is just started canning. I guess they okay. Canned the Citra. And then the San Diego West Excuse Coast me. style IPA. Okay. And they've won some awards yeah. recently too, if you look on our webpage. At where? Where, yeah. where did they win awards? It wasn't mm. uh Bud's tool shop and uh auto body, right? No. It was like a it was like a the, real uh, beer place. <laughs> the San Diego I'm International sorry, Beer Competition. Terrible. There and you the, go. Uh, USA beer rating. So they, they do um the San Diego Beer Fest. They've uh there you go. You know, and that's a what they win. Uh, bronze, bronze in the uh, looks like they got bronze for their Citra Juicy Double IPA, and they uh, they Good. also received uh, an award uh, silver on their um, looks like their San Diego Hazy. Um, if they make a good Hazy, filter, man, filter. they're in business. Because I'll be huh. buying that very well. Do they make Charlie lagers or pilsners? Yep. They got a pilsner. They got a organic unfiltered pilsner. They're showing here. I like you. I mean, I'm I'm. I'm I'm interested. Let's do it. I'll go up there tomorrow as long as, you know, everything's copacetic. Well, I had some, uh, I had some green cheek this week. So rough translation was the, uh, Kolsch, um, that they have. And then I had, uh, leather drinking pants from, uh, Moxa mm-hmm. drinking. Shorts. What was the I'm first sorry. one you had? I'm sorry. I missed the first one. The rough translation is the Kolsch style from, uh, from, uh, green cheek. Oh, green cheek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had and that a you, couple weeks rec- ago. That's really good. You recommended that. Yeah. Because I shot you a picture a really of a beer. bunch of beers. Uh, the leather mm-hmm. drinking shorts from Moxa, which was outstanding. It's a feist beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I uh, then one of my crawlers blew up on me. Um, uh yeah, Nobody's hurt. Uh, it, no. No animals were injured <laughs> in this process. So, um, yeah, just yeah. I, mean, I shot a picture to Chris of, of the can. It just, it's like a small, uh, pipe bomb basically that, uh, <laughs> blows up fruity beer all, all over everything. So <laughs> I did rescue the can and, uh, just slurp some out of it because it hadn't all ejected. So I was quite happy to down that. I don't even remember what it was, but, uh, then I had the, uh, nurse Clara from, uh, Monk, laughing uh, Monk, laughing Monk, laughing Very Monk. Well. And you know what? This one was good. Hmm. So that brother Charlie, I did not like, and this nurse Clara was outstanding. So I don't know what the heck the deal is. It's hit and miss here, I guess. I don't know. I mean, they have some good beers. I can give you that, but that uh, <laughs> brother Charlie the, wasn't all that hot the, for me. Uh, the good news, then I did. Uh, the, good news, the good news, Charlie, is there a lawyer didn't contact us after the last show. So. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. <laughs> I won't send him the medical bill either. So, <laughs> but, uh, 
the uh, beer drinking is not a crime. I think that's an Aslan. Um, uh huh. Because I was cooking pizza the other night, so I was having quite a few beverages while I was cooking pizza. Then I had uh, Humble C. Uh, now that's a uh, that's what I call a foggy beer. I think that was actually really good. And then uh, I had another Falcon Smash from Triple Crossing. This, I know you guys hate me when I do this, but uh, I when mix you do it what, up. Charlie? What's that? When I go through like twenty eight beers in a week. Huh. We and on top you what of that, the best beer you had is, and you list off. Uh, well, uh, I'm to the okay. end here with was the Poly Juice <laughs> from uh, Humble Sea. That's Poly Juice hey, you're Potion. Fan of that, huh? Oh gosh, it's so good. But hey, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of what Humble Sea does. Pretty excited, and then these three beers. Oh, I did also have uh, 2020 is over, uh, North Park Hazy. Anyways, all those breweries, good stuff. I'm quite good happy to drink their beers. Yeah, they're. They're working it out. I'm letting this uh, stout kind of just sit here for a minute, you know, warm up a little bit. Plus, dude, they did not short me on beer. This thing is like less than a half an inch away from the top of the bottle, man. It's ridiculously full. Yeah, no, I. Well, can you uh, I'm excited, can you say man. that, Chris? Is yours there? I um, you know what? It's it's all in my glass right now, but it's you got a short the, pour, the right? Nicely doubtful. <laughs> they don't give me. They don't give me short pours. Hey, so the um. <laughs> I think the best beer, you know, I had a couple of, I had a couple of really good beers this week. I think um, the the first one I had uh, was, was Demon's Run Coconut Vanilla from Urban Roots in, uh, in Sacramento. Um, it was super, super tasty. The vanilla and the, the coconut both came through really, really good. Uh, I was really impressed with it. Um, and then just, uh, you know, I've been, I've been in the kind of some, some lighter beers recently and uh, um, Humble Sea released a, uh, a Kolsch last week, which was, um, phenomenal it was super good it was called uh um it's part of their brewers series um i think it was called uh like brewed good um i think Goot. is uh was g-u-t Goot. was that what it was yeah yeah g-u-t brewed goot yeah it was phenomenal it was super super tasty i was i was really impressed with it um yeah it was uh it was, it was great um yeah brews good good g-u-d yeah it was it was great so i was, I was excited it's about German that and style uh, yeah, it was a uh, it was a Kolsch. A um, what do they say on there? Um, it just says traditional German Kolsch was what uh, yeah. is what that is. So it was I super like good. Good German beer. Yeah, we need to make no, a run was, over. Uh, we need we need to make a run over to Germany and drink some beer. And then I mean, I agree. Kind of shift our direction to Belgium after that, <laughs> and then I'll just. I'll stay over there while you guys have to go back to work and I'll hit Copenhagen, Denmark, <laughs> Amsterdam <laughs> and all the rest. So <laughs> just hop on over to England <laughs> and drink some British beer too. I'm, gosh, man, I could probably live in the breweries over there. You know, just go from brewery to brewery. Be a cool little Hi. setup. For sure. Yeah, no, they're, um, I would definitely like to uh, make that trip. Probably I'm ready. My dogs are chewing on some some dog toys over here. They're getting kind of excited. Cool, squeaky toys. Yeah, little squeaky toys. They're big squeaky toy <laughs> fans. So yeah, the what do you uh, think of the stout? I think it's great. It's you know it's mine's warming up now. It's uh, yeah, mine is too. It really smells super yeah. boozy, and it's only ten percent. <laughs> it definitely doesn't taste boozy. You know, no, I mean, it doesn't. I, uh, Not at all really chocolatey and uh you know pistachios they're there but they're not overbearing and uh um, tasting much vanilla the, uh, there, there's a hint at the end but but it's certainly not uh doesn't uh, doesn't appear to be as much vanilla as there is pistachio so well, i think that's uh that's it's pretty a tasty. good beer i mean i mean usually like you say with the horse it's lights out this one's this one's um i think it was more influenced by green cheek than it was horace but uh because he probably would have dumped uh, quite a few more uh, batches of vanilla and pistachios in here. <laughs> he would have been generous. Yeah, the, uh, or should I say yeah, more no, that's, generous? It's a really good beer. Um, <clears throat> the uh, Yeah. So what else do you guys got? Steve, you didn't get any of this, did you? Nope. That's all right. You should have, you should have poured him a thimble before you left, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> the I, didn't, uh, I didn't realize we were going this route. Well, you're the one that sent me the picture of it earlier, so. 
Oh, I let you know. Yeah, I was uh, letting you know I had it. I mean, I'm glad we went that route. You know, it's uh, no, it's been burning sure. a hole in my beer. fridge <laughs> for for a yeah, day for sure. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff, man. Good. It good is stuff. good. It I'll, is good. I think I got like six more beers to drink here tonight. <laughs> oh, off there you go. Here, total after hey. after party. Hey. <laughs> there you here go. For, not not this guy. Yeah, the warden gonna, will be kicking me out of here so she on. can go to sleep. Hello. Sip on this yep. one. Little. Somebody's cutting out. Yeah, Chris is a little bit on the, no. he's, the red. Are you there? In, he's in a little red. Can you hear me? Red, red microphone. Yeah, yeah now. now. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I apologize. Yeah, I was. Kick, uh, he has to kick Aiden off. The, Aiden's got to stop playing his PlayStation. Or PX twenty eight or whatever it is. <laughs> what is it? Sucking all your bandwidth down. Oh, we lost him. Oh, he just dropped off. <laughs> totally dropped off. It, just, it was getting worse. He had enough of it us. Was getting worse and worse. I was like, I kept watching and watching and was like, oh, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Hey, you can you guys hear me now? Hey, yeah. you made it back. I apologize yeah, right. for that. I was trying to step away from my dogs and I must have gotten yeah. a little too away from the, the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yep. Your, your cord yeah. wasn't long enough. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh my my dog just got this new bark box today so he's uh he's trying to wear the squeaker out wow um, that's cool. yeah so dogs so there do we that. are yeah so we had uh, a couple mm. of, a couple of really good beers a couple of ipas we had the uh, the trite from uh, from aslan was phenomenal uh the the yeah. mckeller uh the the uh new england style do stuff together uh was was a good beer um i think Pretty that good, was yeah. uh it was, yeah, it was, it was certainly drinkable. And we finished things up with this. Uh, we like birds uh, from Green Cheek and Horus, which um, stouts getting better. Was for sure. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a fan better. of letting my stouts warm up. And uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, soon enough we'll be able to record together, maybe it's at once some again. point. Maybe next. So the, the good news is, you know, next week we should have uh, um, Ryan had sent down uh, our, our friend Ryan. We uh, uh, we'd sent some beers up his way. Uh, and and he sent some beers down this way. Those should be uh, should be here in the next couple of days. So, oh, uh, we'll sort that out. Yes, we sure he, will. He sent, he sent it by a by a courier, right? He did. He did. We got to. I got to set that uh, that pickup up. Uh, maybe Ninja Sunday. Ninja courier. <laughs> so, so we'll have some. He was he was posting some pretty good pictures of other beers that he had already been drinking. So, for I'm sure, hoping we get a cup couple of those. Yeah, I know. He, uh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there will be some gems in there. I'm excited. Outstanding. And, uh, yeah. So with that, guys, I think uh, that's that's it for me. You guys, got anything else? You had enough? No, no, I don't have anything I, else. I'm good. I'm gonna drink these beers. I got a while a while go. to go here. I got uh, three half cans and a half bottle, and then uh, oh, yeah, and then an extra uh, nugget plus or pulp nugget. Ooh, I'm a fan. All right, guys. I guess signing off. Signing off till next week. We'll see you then. Cheers. 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 So, to summarize today's show, we had two main craft beers Trite, an American IPA from Aslan Beer Company, based out of Alexandria, Virginia, and Do Stuff Together, a New England style IPA from McKellar's San Diego Brewery. And then, then Charlie and Chris's after-party beer was We Like Birds, an imperial double stout with pistachios and vanilla from Green Cheek Beer Company out of Orange, California, in collaboration with Whore's Age Ales out of Oceanside, California. Hopefully we'll be able to get back together, recording together with maximum social distancing in Charlie's backyard for the next show. If you have feedback, then head over to thepodcraft.com and send us an email. Or you can rate and review the podcast in your favorite podcast listening app. And if you're not sure which podcast app to use, then head over to thepodcraft.com for a complete list with easy-to-access links, and we're updating that on a regular basis. We continue to ask you to please recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more, the merrier. Thanks so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The 
The PodCraft podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.